President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. He is welcomed by Lieutenant General Rowan S. Tolentino, Philippine Army, the Superintendent, Philippine Military Academy. Mahal na Pangulo, handa na po ang talupad pandangal upang libutin. Tanghal! Tanghal! Mga pinu, tanghal. Tanghal. Mga pinu, baba. Alis. Dala. Alis. Baba.
Mahal na pong ulo. Tapos na pong parangal. Mga kasama, pinapabot ang ating panauwing pandangal, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, ang kanyang tauspusong pasasalamat sa parangal na iginawad natin sa kanya ngayong umaga. Alis. Apa yang hendak dilakukan? Alis. Pong. Kot. Pakai non.
Announcing the arrival of our guest of honor and speaker, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Republic of the Philippines. May we request everyone to remain standing for the honors to the nation. Thank you. Please be seated. The regimental adjutant faces about, salutes, and renders report to the regimental commander that the cadet corps is formed. In a short while, the regimental commander will give a series of commands for the court to execute the manual of arms. Starting with right shoulder arms, left shoulder arms. Port arms. Oh. Order arms. Oh. 
inspection arms. And finally, order arms. The regimental commander orders the adjutant to account the troops. After receiving the reports, the regimental adjutant faces about, salutes, and renders report to the regimental commander, Sir, the Corps, all present and accounted for. The regimental commander orders the adjutant to publish the order of the day. After publishing the order, the regimental adjutant gives the command officer center march. He then proceeds to his position with the regimental staff as cadet officers from each battalion march forward to receive instructions from the regimental commander. Communications, orders and disseminations must pass through proper channels. This is a practice observed in the military profession, which signifies the importance of the chain of command. Through the chain of command, a more effective and efficient working arrangement results among men in arms. Now, approaching the grandstand, ladies and gentlemen, are the members of the chain of command, the officers of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines. Upon the salute of his officers, the regimental commander acknowledges, gives instructions, and directs them to proceed back to their respective posts. While inside the hallowed grounds of this great institution, 
the cadets must endure the challenging training. The military system characterizes and distinguishes the unique life inside BMA. It fosters punctuality, order, discipline, and respect for authority. By placing cadets in a uniform plane, it enables these young men and women to advance through self-reliance, initiative, and strength of character. The regimental commander orders the court to present arms. To present the court to our guest of honor, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Republic of the Philippines. The audience is requested to stand. Thank you. Please be seated. ceremonial parades have been established to bestow honor to the Philippine flag, our national symbol. Recipients of awards and decorations are also accorded this honor. This is followed by the inspection of the troops, if the reviewing officer so desires. President Ferdinand Gonvaldes Marcos Jr was born on 30 September 1957 and raised in the town of Batak, Ilocos Norte. He graduated in Oxford University in 1974 
and earned a special diploma in social studies. For over two decades, he has dedicated his life to serving the Filipino people. He was elected as a governor of Ilocos Norte, and his term was marked by greater importance, place in improving the province's agriculture, promoting better market opportunities to local farmers, strengthening environmental policies for sustainable development. He was further elected as congressman and eventually as senator, where he served for several years as the chairman of the Senate Committee on Local Government. He strongly advocated reform and empowered through provision of more responsive national government support as a leader of Filipino people. He stands steadfast behind his vision. Ladies and gentlemen, trooping in line before you, is our guest of honor and speaker, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Republic of the Philippines. He is accompanied by Lieutenant General Rowan Estolentino, Philippine Army, Superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy, and by the Regimental Commander, Cadet First Captain John Troy Albano, CCAFP. On 09 May 2022, he garnered the largest vote count of any presidential candidate in the nation's history. President Bongbong Marcos is committed to bring the new era in the Philippines that addresses the pressing problems and re-energize development in the country. He is further committed in uniting the nation and delivering a brighter future for the people. He is happily married to the First Lady, Attorney Luis Liza Cacho Araneta Marcos, and blessed with three children. Looking back at history, Trooping the Line was brought about by the invasion of mainland Greece by the Tauris in 1200 BC. This is the act of inspecting the soldiers before and after each battle. Today, we still observe this military tradition to signify the common trust between the troops and their commander. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Republic of the Philippines. Please be seated.
At this juncture, we shall now witness the turnover ceremony of the chain of command of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines. We have just witnessed the exchange of salutes by the outgoing and incoming cadet officers. We shall now proceed with the formal turnover of the CCAP chain of command. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now witness the exchanging of swords of the incoming and outgoing cadet officers. This symbolizes the formal turnover of the duties and responsibilities held by the outgoing cadet officers and lieutenants. This might be as simple as it symbolically looks. However, behind this is a lo load of burdensome tasks assigned to each counterpart. Madasigon, Mandirigmang May Dangal, Simbolo ng Galing at Pagbangon. Honor above excellence. These are the values that their class upholds. As future leaders of our nation, it is important that they make a stand for the peaceful progress of our country. As the warriors and protectors of our land, they dedicate their lives for the peace and prosperity of mankind. Being on the grounds of this prestigious institution, they stand firm and proud to serve the Filipino people. 
as young soldiers of the armed forces of the Philippines. They shall create a tight and boundless connection between every Filipino, maintaining freedom in our changing world. The hallowed grounds of our alma mater will help them achieve the values that are needed to preserve the peace. They will continue to serve as the guiding light of the armed forces of the Philippines and the nation. Their four-year stays in the academy, the PMA Manasigan class of 2023, already instilled the lifelong concept of love for God and country, courage, duty, excellence, honor, humility, integrity, loyalty, respect, and solidarity. As they live and coexist in close association with their fellow cadets in this magnanimous institution, respect for the right of others becomes their way of life as they cherish the spirit of the honor code. Finally, after four long years of hard work and training comes graduation. The PMA Matasigon class of 2023 are now marching forward in the hollow grounds of this great institution. This event means a promotion of plebs to yearlings. The third class cadets, it is another year of completion closer to their goals. To the second class cadets, this signals that they shall assume overall leadership of the Corps. And to the seniors, graduation signifies the beginning of a life of self-service to our country and people as regular officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, the 310 members of the PMA Matasigon class of 2023. Attention call has just been sounded, signaling the entrance of the graduating class, the PMA Modasigon of 2023. On 20 September 2018, from 37 testing centers across the country, 28,366 young individuals took the Philippine Military Academy entrance examination. These aspiring cadets have undergone thorough screening and testing. After the complete physical exam, 377 aspirants were deemed worthy and given the opportunity to become a PMA cadet. By adversities and difficulties, they remain flexible to the barriers of obscurity through cooperation, confidence, and determination. Enlightened in modesty and equality, guided to propel their class to compete and excel, they are indeed the race of fearless warriors, the Mandasigan class of 2023. Ang katagdang magsipagtapos Narito pong lahat Ladies and gentlemen Before you are the 310 proud members of the PMA Madasigon class of 2023. At this point, 
We shall now witness the commencement exercises of the PMA Madasigon class of 2023. Please stand for the interfaith prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray. O oh God, we come to you in thankfulness on this commencement exercises of PMA Madasigun Class 2023 with His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, as guest of honor and speaker. Surround the graduating class with your grace. Bless them with hope so that they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, the skills, and the values gained through their education and training for the good of our country and their chosen profession. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges. As they commence with their lives, may they grow even more grateful and wise. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we are grateful for our beloved institution, the Philippine Military Academy, with whom great military officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and leaders of our nation is minted. Grant upon Team PMA your love, grace, and your highest affirmation as it faithfully fulfills its mandated mission of producing principled, highly motivated, and competent military officers. May your empowering presence, light, and wisdom perpetually abide upon us now and forever. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, we entrust to you these graduating cadets, to your divine providence and protection. Shield them against the enemy of body and soul. Strengthen their will to resist temptation and sustain them with your constant provision. Bless the loving parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, foster parents, friends, and loved ones. Hear their silent prayers and reward their vicarious sacrifices. All this we humbly pray forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. We will now hear the welcome remarks of the Superintendent, Philippine Military Academy, Lieutenant General Rowan S. Tolentino, Philippine Army. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. First of all, we would like to express our profound gratitude to our Commander-in-Chief, and the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., for gracing the commencement exercises of the PMA Madasigon Class of 2023. Maraming salamat po. May I also welcome the following. Senior Undersecretary Carlito G. Galvez Jr., Officer in Charge of the Department of National Defense, Secretary Eduardo M. Año, the National Security Advisor. General Andres C. Centino, Philippine Army, the Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines. His Excellency Miguel Utre Delgado, Ambassador of Spain. Secretary Antonio Lagdameo, Jr., the Special Assistant to the President. Secretary Cheloy Velicaria Garafil, the Presidential Communications Officer, Office Chief. The Honorable Henry Jin Paul Inting, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Our gracious host here in Baguio City, Honorable Mayor Benjamin B. Magalong. 
and Honorable Congressman Mark Go, former DND Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, Chairman of the BCDA, Cavalier Danilo A. Abinoha, the Chairman of PMAAAI, Police General Benjamin Acorda Jr., the Chief PNP, Coast Guard Admiral Artemio M. Abu, Coast Guard Commandant, Major Service Commanders, Lieutenant General Romeo S. Browner Jr., Philippine Army, Vice Admiral Toribio D. Adasi Jr., Philippine Navy, Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, Philippine Air Force. Distinguished guests who will be recognized later as they present awards, Cavalier Edelberto Adan, former SUP of PMA, distinguished members of the Foreign Armed Forces Attaches, senior officers present, Commodore Viduya, the Assistant Superintendent, Brigadier General Tominis, the Commandant of Cadets, and Brigadier General Poli, the Dean of Academics. Men, women, women and civilian resource of PMA, distinguished guests, parents, relatives, friends, and loved ones of the graduating cadets. Muli, isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat na puno ng galak at pag-asa sa araw ng pagtatapos ng mga bagong kasapi ng sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. The members of the Madasigon class of 2023 came from a very diverse background. Let me cite a few. All regions of our country is represented. 72 or 23 percent are female, and 238 or 77 percent are male. 59 percent are just high school graduates, but of course with honors. 34 percent came from low-income families. 22 percent from the middle class. 6 percent from high income and up. The rest are either lower or upper middle class. There are parents who are farmers, tricycle drivers, sidewalk vendors, construction workers, teachers, OFWs, engineers, medical professionals, CAFGU, military uniform personnel, both active and retired, and others. Your Excellency, in fact, Two of the parents were graduated by your father, the late President Ferdinand Marcus Sr., belonging to PMA Class 82, and now 41 years apart, you will be graduating their sons. To the graduating cadets, it is now my order for you to render the loudest round of applause to your family, especially to your parents and guardians. They are the ones to whom you are greatly indebted, the ones who unceasingly showered you with love, care, and support, regardless of their status in life. That paved the way to this milestone in your career. They were the ones who molded you for 17 to 22 years prior to your entry into the academy. You were already the best of the best a precious jewel, and all the Academy did was to grind and polish that jewel and prepare it for a noble use. As your superintendent, I extend my utmost respect to all of you for choosing to follow a life committed to serve our country and people. You have decided at your early age to forego with your carefree youth and decided to take on the challenge of unending sacrifice. While this new chapter in your lives as officers presents new challenges and carries with it heavier responsibilities and overwhelming tasks, may you never run out of reasons to continue with your sworn oath and passion to be of service to our nation and people. Continue to live by the ideals of courage, integrity, and loyalty inculcated to you by the Philippine Military Academy. Lastly, while you continue to widen your knowledge and sharpen your skills, may you never forget to continuously develop your character. As you progress in rank, always remember that you will be judged 
not merely by the number of suns or stars on your shoulders, but by how you lead and inspire people. At this point, sir, let me also acknowledge the recent graduates of the different foreign service academies. These officer candidates finished their one-year plebhood in PMA and were selected to be sent abroad, equally giving pride and honor to our country. We have your officer candidates Renz A. Kimpo and Aprilin D. Enriquez from the Australian Defense Force Academy. <laughs> Josh Vincent M. Abrea and Eric Roy Delgado, Republic of Korea Military Academy. <laughs> Manuel D. Dumaya and Angelou Argaila from the Japan National Defense Academy. Thank you. Muli, maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat. We shall now witness the presentation of the graduates by the Dean of Academics, Brigadier General Jose Demar A. Poli, Corps of Professors. Sir, I have the honor to present to you 310 strong members of the graduating class, Matisigyon class of 2023. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirement of the course of study of the Philippine Military Academy. I hereby re recommend that they be conferred the degree of Bachelor of Science in National Security Management, sir. By the authority vested in me as the Superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy, I hereby declare you the members of the Madasigun Class of 2023 graduates and confer to you <laughs> and confer to you the degree of Bachelor of Science in National Security Management effective this date. Congratulations. for having satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the course of study in the Philippine Military Academy and upon the recommendation of the academic board, the PMA superintendent have declared the members of PMA class 2023 graduates and has conferred upon them the Bachelor of Science degree in National Security Management. We shall now witness the distribution of diplomas and presentation of awards. The President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdos, Romualdez Marcus Jr. will present the diplomas and the awards. The Officer in Charge, Department of National Defense, Senior Undersecretary Carlito G. Galvez Jr., PMA Superintendent, Lieutenant General Rowen S. Tolentino, Philippine Army, the Commandant of Cadets, Brigadier General Julius A. Tomines, Philippine Army, and the Dean of Academics, Brigadier General Jose Demar A. Poli, Corps of Professors, will assist the President. We will now call on the graduating class according to the Military President's List. The Military President's List is determined by their overall performance in all the academic and tactics courses during their stay in the Academy. Cadet First Class, Warren de Guzman Leonor, Lipa City. For graduating number one in the military president's list of class 2023, the presidential saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Leonor. The awards presented by His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Cadet First Class Leonor is also awarded the academic distinction of cum laude for obtaining an academic cumulative grade point average 
of at least 8.5 and minimum course grade of 8.0 and belonging to the upper 25% of the class. Four being the number one graduating cadet joining the Philippine Air Force. The Philippine Air Force Sabre is awarded to Cadet First Class Leonor. The award is presented by Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, Philippine Air Force, the Commanding General. For being number one in the military president's list, Cadet First Class Leonor will receive the Joint Military Assistance Group Sabre presented by Colonel Edward R. Evans, the Chief for JUSMEG Philippines. As the top performing graduate joining the Philippine Air Force, Cadet First Class Leonor will also receive the Australian Defense Best Overall Performance Award presented by Colonel Paul Barta, CSC, the Australian Defense Attaché. For graduating number one in all social humanistic subjects offered by the academic group, Cadet First Class Leonor will also receive the Spanish Armed Forces Sabre presented by the Spanish Ambassador to the Philippines, His Excellency Miguel Utre Delgado. <laughs> Cadet First Class Leonor is also the recipient of the following awards. Academic Group Award, Tactics Group Award, Management Plaque, Social Sciences Plaque, National Security Studies Plaque, Air Force Professional Courses Plaque, Sports and Physical Development Unit Plaque, and the General Antonio Luna Award. Cadet First Class, Edmundo D. Logroño, Manito Albay. For graduating number two in the military president's list of class 2023, the vice presidential saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Logroño. For being the number one graduating cadet joining the Philippine Army, the Philippine Army Saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Logroño. The award is presented by Lieutenant General Romeo S. Browner, Jr., Philippine Army, Commanding General, Philippine Army. For being the number one graduating cadet in aptitude, conduct, leadership courses, and extracurricular activities, and for not committing class one or two throughout his cadetship, and for occupying a position of responsibility, whether as part of the chain of command or cadet in charge of a cadet organization or core squad. The Aguinaldo Saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Logroño. The award is presented by Mr. Jedidaya Suntay of the General Emilio Aguinaldo Foundation. As the top performing graduate joining the Philippine Army, Cadet First Class Logroño will also receive the Australian Defense Best Overall Performance Award, presented by Colonel Paul Barta, CSC, the Australian Defense Attaché. <laughs> Cadet First Class Logroño is also a recipient of the Army Professional Courses Plaque, as well as the Department of Tactical Officers Plaque. Cadet First Class, Nicole Buque Sarmiento, Butuan City. For graduating number three in the military president's list of class 2023, the Secretary of National Defense Saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Sarmiento. The award is presented by Senior Undersecretary Carlito G. Galvez Jr., Officer in Charge, Department of National Defense. Cadet First Class, Zenzen Sobosobo Kaiton, Dupax del Norte, Nueva Vizcaya. Cadet First Class, Resmar Kagawan Cantor, Bugalyon, Pangasinan. <laughs> C 
Cadet First Class Cantor is also awarded the academic distinction of Cum Laude. For being the number one graduating cadet joining the Philippine Navy, the Philippine Navy Saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Cantor. The award is presented by Vice Admiral Toribio D. Adasi Jr., Philippine Navy, Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy. As the top performing graduate joining the Philippine Navy, Cadet First Class Cantor will also receive the Australian Defense Best Overall Performance Award presented by Colonel Paul Barta, CSC, the Australian Defense Attaché. Cadet First Class, Rojan Jami Macario, Zamboanga City. Cadet First Class, Samuel Samia Banak, Quezon City. Cadet First Class, Kimberly Kate Roque Lawingan, Sadanga Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Rico J. Banglos Fernandez, Molave, Sambuanga del Sur. For graduating as number one in all military leadership courses, the Association of Generals and Flag Officers in Command Award is presented to Cadet First Class Fernandez. The award is presented by Vice Admiral Emilio C. Marayag, Jr., Philippine Navy, retired, President AGFO. Cadet First Class Fernandez is the recipient of the Department of Leadership plaque. Cadet First Class, Arla Krish Kinahingan Bahingawan, Kiangan Ifugao. For having an outstanding performance in law courses, for having the highest performance rating in all law-related activities inside and outside the academy, for not having been awarded a Class 1 offense during her cadetship and for belonging to the upper quartile of her class, the Chief Justice Saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Bahingawan. The award is presented by Honorable Henry John Paul B. Inting, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Cadet First Class Bahingawan is also the recipient of the Humanities Plaque and shall also receive a gift from the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. <laughs> Cadet First Class, Maria Isabel Licawen Versosa, Baguio City. Cadet First Class Versosa is awarded the academic distinction of cum laude. Cadet First Class, Sydney Paulo Caballe Sismundo, Cebu City. Cadet First Class, Sydney Paulo Caballe Sismundo, Cebu City. Cadet First Class, Daniel Louis Castor Castor, Kalinog Iloilo. Cadet First Class Castor is awarded the academic distinction of cum laude. Cadet First Class, John Andrew Picardal Akala, Oras, Eastern Summer. Cadet First Class, John Troy Bailon Albano, Tagum City. For graduating as the Regimental Commander of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Chief of Staff Saber is awarded to Cadet First Class Albano. The award is presented by General Andres C. Centino, Philippine Army, the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Cadet First Class Albano is also the recipient of the Mathematics Plaque. Cadet First Class, Francine Noel Castillo Cagasan, 
Ragai Kamari Nesur. Cadet First Class, Alvin Balaki Uday, Amulong, Cagayan. Cadet First Class Uday is awarded the academic distinction of Cum Laude. Cadet First Class, Kasey Marie Koha Chua, Cagayan de Oro City. Cadet First Class, Rail Legaspi Romerosa, Iligan City. Cadet First Class Romerosa is awarded the academic distinction of Cum Laude. Cadet First Class, James John Joso Gonzaga, San Mateo Rizal. Cadet First Class, Crisha May Eugenio Bumanglag, Baguio City. Cadet First Class, Jewel Ariel Dulay Wang Wang, Bontok Mountain Province. Cadet First Class Wang Wang is the recipient of the Information Technology Plaque. Cadet First Class, J.L. Dison Escauriasa, Pagadian City. Cadet First Class Escauriasa is awarded the academic distinction of Cum Laude. Cadet First Class, John Ross Langkit Ogang, Tinglayan, Kalinga. Cadet First Class Ogang is awarded the academic distinction of Cum Laude. For being number one in athletic-related activities, intramurals, and sports participation among male cadets, the Athletic Sabre is awarded to Cadet First Class Ogang. The award is presented by Honorable Benjamin B. Mangalong, Mayor, Baguio City. Cadet First Class, Josel Jeron Alindada Nazareno, Pinamalayan Oriental Mindoro. Cadet First Class, Raylan Salas Valencia, Angeles City. Cadet First Class, Patrick Obrador Bautista, Lipa City. Cadet First Class, John Nicolas Kawili Bustillo, La Trinidad Benguet. Cadet First Class, Kesi Igid Layagan, Sagada Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Sheila May Villarreal Magistrado, Iriga City. Cadet First Class, Richter James Hinko Escobia, Takurong City. Cadet First Class Escobia is awarded the academic distinction of Cum Laude. Cadet First Class, John Carlo Makalindong Irlandes, Naik Cavite. Cadet First Class, Jamilin Jami Macario, Zamboanga City. Cadet First Class, Regent Pearl Rombawa Reyes, 
President Quirino Sultan Kudarat. Cadet First Class, John Lloyd Melchor Lopez, General Santos City. Cadet First Class, Jezel May Duyan Polistico, si Bagat Agusan del Sur. Cadet First Class, Ana Pamela Descalzo Balio, Bocawe Bulacan. Cadet First Class, Eugene Daliwag Alfonso, Tubo Abra. Cadet First Class, Margo Joy Segui E. Chavez, Marikina City. Cadet First Class, Michi Raline Belicario Libumfasil, Iligan City. Cadet First Class, Andre Lijan Gitiring Dangilan, Peña Blanca, Cagayan. Cadet First Class, Charen Sargado Palmares, Don Carlos Bukidnon. Cadet First Class, Dexter Joseph Palisok Ariola, Taguig City. Cadet First Class, Mark Bernard Udang Lopez, Iligan City. Cadet First Class, Lizel Ann Haspe Galiaza, Iloilo City. Cadet First Class, Edlyn Grace Pastolero Bugawan, Santa Barbara, Pangasinan. Cadet First Class, Froiland Munoz Barro, Lupon, Davao Oriental. Cadet First Class, Mary Juvel Sison Villarmea, Iligan City. Cadet First Class, Bion Lester Jaime Go, Davao City. Cadet First Class, Kurt Linox Pagkaliwangan Kamba, Lipa City. Cadet First Class, John Israel Melendres Mesahon, Quezon City. Cadet First Class, Henry Carcosa Cordova Jr., Piquit, North Cotabato. Cadet First Class Cordova is awarded the academic distinction of cum laude. Cadet First Class, Johnerick Laoyan Awakan, La Trinidad Benguet. Cadet First Class, Jean Kenneth Vallejo Sunyas, San Jose City. Cadet First Class, Saira Dion Naldo Buhain, Tanza Cavite. Cadet First Class, Patrick Estero Agpalo, Baguio City. Cadet First Class, Ayl Krael Marcelo Soriano, Angadanan Isabela.
Cadet First Class, Prince Edgar Soriano Magno, Lingayen, Pangasinan. Cadet First Class, Renan Joshua Leviste Pitogo, Lipa City. Cadet First Class, Keith Sean Henes Vitor, Lapulapu City. Cadet First Class, Karil Rico Rico, Lingayen, Pangasinan. Cadet First Class, Alanis Solomon Adasi, Lamut Ifugao. Cadet First Class, Mark Jeffrey Cano Arrogante, Oas Albay. Cadet First Class, Justin James Rancon Garcia, Wao, Lanao del Sur. Cadet First Class, Ron Glenn Coracero Valeroso, Siniloan, Laguna. Cadet First Class, Arvin Saavedra Soriano, Pandacan, Manila. Cadet First Class, Ron Godfrey Wagawag Bawalan, Pasil, Kalinga. Cadet First Class, Alexander Joel Piquero Abregana, Malaybalay City. Cadet First Class, Glidel Ann Haveliana Odal, Kandihay, Bohol. Cadet First Class, Gabriel Cabrera Piolino, Mandaluyong City. Cadet First Class, Leo Harley Padayao Jokno, Taguig City. Cadet First Class, Arian Novi Agravante Gomugda, Iloilo City. Cadet First Class, Jason Hinakay Sierra, Cagayan de Oro City. Cadet First Class, Glenn Kimbongan Laoyan, Atok, Benguet. Cadet First Class, Josh Raven Ace Milan Rabanes, Cebu City. Cadet First Class, Jesslan Gail T. Cubillas, Butuan City. Cadet First Class, Joseph Gabriel Renedo Gamayo, Baknotan, La Union. Cadet First Class, Israel John Daguob Abraham, Silay City. Cadet First Class, Jasper Sandre Rutor Pabilyar, Lucena City. Cadet First Class, Charlene Joy Gabriel Cueno, Indang, Cavite. Cadet First Class, Vince Lowell Lianes Icaro, Lipa City. Cadet First Class, John Ray Anticamara Sumanoy, Iligan City. Cadet First Class, Stephen John Villalobos Kamangyan, Mabalakat City.
Cadet First Class, Fitzel May Bayawa Lial, Luna Apayo. Cadet First Class, Lara Mendoza Almario, Santa Rosa Laguna. Cadet First Class, Marthy Fabaan de Ocampo, Bontoc Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Juanito Guanzo Jr. Gakayan, Burgos, La Union. Cadet First Class, Precious Katapang de Mesa, Valenzuela City. Cadet First Class, Lian Arsen Navarro Sadural, Mandaluyong City. Cadet First Class, Rav Brainer Hernandez Lopez, General Emilio Aguinaldo Cavite. Cadet First Class, Rocky Bataclaw Watangan, Tadian Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Raja Eza Mahed. Dador Karudin, Parang Marin Magindanao. Cadet First Class, Arvin Kyle Concepcion Albano, Sinait Ilocosur. Cadet First Class, Angela Jane Palmares Tancho, Davao City. Cadet First Class, Irish Antoinette Melio Borromeo, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Cadet First Class, Reina Andrea Balin Madrid, Santo Domingo, Albay. Cadet First Class, Robert J. Mejia Adorador, Labangan, Sambuanga del Sur. Cadet First Class, Paulo Angelo Hindang Domingo, Pasig City. Cadet First Class, Ranil Boncato Landicho Jr., San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. Cadet First Class, Maria Justine Panol Martinez, Busud, Camarines Norte. Cadet First Class, Tito Lesser Noe Vingwa, Puerto Princesa City. Cadet First Class, Owen James Banisa Lubrica, Baguio City. Cadet First Class, Jed Cedric Bosita Ricinto. Lipa City. Cadet First Class, Miller John Palacio Cajeles, Cagayan de Oro City. Cadet First Class, Jeza Trisha Faith Pasking Olao, Sadanga Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Kiel Buhungan Galap, Lagawe Ifugao. Cadet First Class, Carlo Andre Dulos Valencia, Carmona Cavite. Cadet First Class Valencia is the recipient of the Natural Sciences plaque. Cadet First Class, John Liuver or Donya Manalo, Socorro Oriental Mindoro.
Cadet First Class, Joyce Alexi Abanico Sumo, Lipa City. Cadet First Class, Jervil Pascual Bamong, Silago Southern Leyte. Cadet First Class, Juan Miguel Idanyo Rama, Cebu City. Cadet First Class, Glenn Christy Zosa Umandam, Pagadian City. Cadet First Class, Jasper Balishado Balunso, Santo Domingo Albay. Cadet First Class Balunso is the recipient of the Navy Professional Courses plaque. Cadet First Class, Jake Rowed Jamos Reyes, Santa Rita, Pampanga. Cadet First Class, Alex Sodela Gaminde, Baguio City. Cadet First Class, Michael Andre Hernandez Custodio, Lucena City. Cadet First Class, Jordan Lacuasan Pachogo, Bauco Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Gabriel Lorenzo De Claro Salonga, Antipolo Rizal. Cadet First Class, John Carlo Baitan Pesimo, Manito Albay. Cadet First Class, John Chris Andan Galusmo, Kabangkalan City. Cadet First Class Galusmo is the recipient of the Journalism Award. Cadet First Class, Juni Mel Ampuan Cueto, Iligan City. Cadet First Class, Den Razir Del Gulam Akmad, Lapu-Lapu City. Cadet First Class, Rinzel Gasmen Morales, Igig Cagayan. Cadet First Class, Jenica Ayra Cagas Mancera, Tampacan, South Cotabato. Cadet First Class, Alvin Glenn Pascua Baris, Claveria, Cagayan. Cadet First Class, Junin Dens Ferolino Bauzon, Midsayap, North Cotabato. Cadet First Class, Erickson Tadle Bendanillo, Kauswagan, Lanao del Norte. Cadet First Class, Julian Glee Hachero Lamparero, Santa Barbara, Iloilo. Cadet First Class, Jobert Mar Biros Olarve, Bacoor City. Cadet First Class, Kim Kendrick Uriel Orlarte Agatep, Lapulapu City. Cadet First Class, Dean Buen Oyando, Oyando, Tabuk City.
Cadet First Class, Silas Dusalen Dao, Sabangan Mountain Province. Cadet First Class, Astrid J. Delgado Caindoy, Kalibo Aklan. Cadet First Class, Emmanuel Fernandez Carido, Binmalay, Pangasinan. Cadet First Class, Andre Kim Arzaga Shoko, Pamplona, Cagayan. Cadet First Class, Emilio Aninag Abelia Jr., Solana, Cagayan. Cadet First Class, Dennis Dapun Gartalia, Libungan, Cotabato. Cadet First Class, Raymark Pawig Tungkul, Enrile, Cagayan. Cadet First Class, Ivan Jeff de Guzman de la Cruz, Baguio City. Cadet First Class, Vincent Joshua Ogay Maglasang, Baguio City.